I'm going to set up an IntelliHeat iSense heater. The first thing to do is to check to make sure that it is plugged in. Press the bow button in order to light up the screen. Then press the hamburger menu. Go to settings and then to network. Press the Wi Fi connection and click OK. This is the first stage of setting up the Wi Fi connection. Then go to your My Sense app that you have previously set up on your smartphone or your tablet and press connection. Then press devices. One device has already been connected. This is another um, electric radiator in the living room. But we are now going to connect up a second device. So we press add a device and then follow the instructions on the screen. Make sure your smartphone or tablet is connected to your home Wi-Fi system and you also have geolocation selected on your smartphone. Then press start. Okay, you must then hold the smartphone near the device and press next. Then you have to follow the instructions on your smartphone. Press next on your smartphone. Go to your Wi-Fi connections of your smartphone. and then select the network which is showing on your radiator. In this case, it is, starts with EV30. It will then indicate on your radiator control that it has a Wi-Fi connection. Then return to the Mice Sense app. and pressed next. Select the connection you wish to set up this new device to. In this case we will go to living room. Press next. And press next again. and we will call it living room. So type in living room. Okay, after you have entered the password, press next, and if it has been successful, you will see this message. Then press end. And then you will find it is connected to your uh, MySense device.
Make sure the smartphone is connected to the radiator. It tells you there. Press next. Then we're going to select a bedroom in this instance. Press next. We could change the name, but we, do, we are just going to keep it as bedroom. Press next. Then we need to make sure we are connected to our home network. In this case, it is this one. Click next. And then I have to put in the password for my home network.